qualifying day for the 70th anniversary Grand Prix, and after the high temperatures of the first day of practice, the wind had not only picked up, but changed direction 180 degrees, meaning some key setup decisions needed to be made. With tyre allocation leaning towards soft, and a reliance on the medium and hard expected for qualifying and the race, there was minimal running for the first 15 minutes. The two Ferraris of Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel had been fitted with new power units overnight after the German had suffered an unexpected and catastrophic failure at the end of Friday's FP2. The team, having struggled to maximise their pace on the all-important medium tyre on Friday, were one of the first on track when cars first started circulating. Halfway through the session, Valtteri Bottas put in the first sub 1 minute 28 lap on the soft compound before teammate Lewis Hamilton usurped top spot with a time almost two tenths quicker. Both Mercedes drivers have said that W11 feels better this weekend than last, which is ominous for the chasing pack, given their obvious superiority at the British Grand Prix. With 20 minutes to go, Lando Norris jumped to the top of the timing screens with a superb lap on the mediums, before the Silver Arrows got themselves back in front with a couple of soft-shod runs. Nevertheless, the McLaren driver's P3 will buoy the Woking team's spirits, even though the young Briton's exuberance at one point annoyed his future teammate, Daniel Ricciardo. I don't know why the f*** he would have overtaken me if he's on high fuel. Renault were hoping for a good showing this weekend, but with the change in wind direction, were struggling through the second sector. On pace with Mercedes in the first and third segments of the track, Daniel Ricciardo lost a second through the middle portion of Silverstone's expansive layout. Despite their off-track woes, the two racing points put in a decent final practice session for fourth and fifth, with stand-in Nico Hülkenberg getting the measure of his Canadian teammate Lance Stroll, who managed to bring out Max Verstappen's ire while the Dutchman was flying. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I find this unbelievable. I can be so bright. George Russell had a wobble at Stowe, but managed to keep the FW43 out of trouble. The Williams driver's looking for his fourth consecutive Q2 appearance this weekend. And judging by his performances over the three practice sessions, that's not a pipe dream. The Briton also with an excellent qualifying record against teammates during his time with the Grove outfit. So it's a familiar sight up the front as Hamilton leads Bottas, but a big surprise in the form of Lando Norris overcoming McLaren's Friday woes to sit third. Nico Hülkenberg again showed well for Racing Point in fourth, ahead of teammate Stroll and the lead Ferrari of Leclerc. The Red Bull duo of Max Verstappen and Alex Albon finished 7th and 8th, with Esteban Ocon the faster of the two Renaults in 9th and Carlos Sainz 10th. The Alpha Tauris of Gasly and Kvyat sat 11th and 12th, ahead of Sebastian Vettel 13th, Daniel Ricciardo 14th and Romain Grosjean again looking far more comfortable for Haas in 15th. Nicholas Latifi outpaces his Williams teammate George Russell in 16th and 17th, with Giovinazzi, Raikkonen and Magnussen rounding out the top 20.